So the diseases of the eye that are treated with the amniotic membrane are manifold. It can be used either as an office procedure when you apply it with a contact lens or with surgery on the eye. Common procedures are in repair of the eyelids, in treatment of ulcers of the cornea, which is the transparent part of the front of the eye. And these ulcers can be caused by infection, inflammation, trauma, particularly chemical trauma. And they don't heal readily, the, the amnion allows that to heal. And also with surgery associated with stem cell transplantation, and in surgery of uh, glaucoma, which is high pressure in the eye and some plastic procedures. Ever since we started using the amniotic membrane, we realized that the natural membrane had some limitations. It can differ from patient to patient, depending on race, age, on the number of babies the mother has had, how many cesarean sections or natural delivery she's had. And even within the same membrane, depending on which part of the placenta the membrane is taken from. When it is closer to the placenta, it is thicker and further away it is thinner. The consistency is different and the constituents are also different. One other major disadvantage of the natural membrane is that it carries the risk of infection and serious infection like the AIDS virus, the HIV or hepatitis or even syphilis. Often this membrane has to be stored frozen, which again uh, is a big undertaking and it's not readily available in the parts of the world where it is needed most. Another big drawback is that the process of handling, washing, storing the membrane causes a lot of its constituents to dissolve or wash away. So how the synthetic membrane would address the issues we discussed, the disadvantages of the natural amniotic membrane. The synthetic amniotic membrane would be more consistent. It would be made to the desired thickness, more flexible. It could be stored at room temperature. It would have zero risk of infectious disease transmission, have absolutely no variation from batch to batch, and which would be equally biocompatible, I mean, react with the tissues just as the natural membrane does without causing any reaction or rejection response from the eye. The synthetic membrane that we've developed, the Sematics, offers all those advantages. The Sematics membrane is made by electrospinning technology. It is a degradable fibrous network, and in between these fibers, we have a hyaluronic acid, which is a natural component of the eye, and it has moisturizing and healing properties. The Sematic membrane is just safely dissolving away once the cornea has healed. The pride of our technology is that it's very consistent. So unlike natural tissues, we have no batch-to-batch -batch variability and every somatics membrane is the same. Having undergone all the tests that we've done on somatics now, uh, we think that after a few more tests, it will enter into the stage of clinical trials in 2024. Right from the beginning, the first use of the amniotic membrane made us understand and realize that it is full of disadvantages, although it offers advantages. And to get a membrane which does away with all the disadvantages and has all the advantages of the natural membrane is the holy grail we were looking for. And we think that Sematics has the potential to be that holy grail.